good afternoon to you all. Come to uh, somewhere different. Um, come to Lake and Heath, uh, RSPB site. Um, never been here before, so having a little wander around. Uh, already seen the Kestrel just go overhead, um, and I've just seen a, uh, a marsh harrier, but a bit distant. So we're gonna have a walk around and see if we can get a bit, a bit closer to the marsh harriers. Um, but yeah, looks an interesting place. Um, met a couple of people already, but said it's been pretty quiet today, to be honest. Um, the place is quite well known for its bitterns as well, but uh, not necessarily any sign of it or nobody's really seen them today. Um, but, sorry, just distracted, I think it's just a seagull. Um, so yeah, so gonna walk around, see if we find anything, and uh, hopefully bring you some shots along the way. So, let's see how we go on. sitting down in the, one of the hides down here. I'm not sure how many hides there are around here, to be honest, but this is the uh, Mere hide. Um, lovely outlook, actually. You can see, you know, pretty well all the way around, um, front and the side of the hide. Um, some good little kingfisher perches just sitting out on the, uh, over the water. Um, yeah, I can imagine it can get quite interesting here. Um, Looks pretty quiet today, I have to say, um, but it's good to explore just to find out what places are like first before you actually start really looking in earnest for things. You know, you know, quick tour around places, then you get to know them, and then you you start to get a feel for where the best places might be. And next time you come, you can just head straight for those places. So, um, so yeah, I've only got a couple of hours here, so it's, it's going to go really quick. I don't think, you know, maybe not going to get a lot, but um, but yeah. Definitely, definitely an interesting place and, and definitely worth coming back to, I think, at some stage. Um, but we'll carry on looking for a while and just see if anything turns up. And uh, you never know, we, we might get lucky. No luck in the, uh, the mere hide. Um, so we're running a bit short of time today, so it's not going to be easy walking around really. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to have a quick look around a bit more, and uh, maybe even get closer to the, uh, the marsh areas. Never know.
Well, I'm at one of the viewpoints right around the far end of the reserve now, so about halfway around the walk. Uh, then going to walk up towards the river bank and back along that way. Um, it's getting pretty dark to be honest. Uh, clouds looking pretty dark as they're coming over. I feel I might get uh, rained on before I get back. Um, it's not brilliant for photography, so um, as I say, a bit of an introductory sort of uh, visit to the place to see what it's like. Um, uh, and then with the potential to come back again and have a, have a proper look, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice looking place, so um, quiet today, but, uh, but certainly, certainly looks as if it's got potential. So let's crack on and uh, carry on our walk and uh, see where we get to. I have to say, uh, not really liking the look of some of the clouds that are coming over. It's uh, looking a bit gloomy, to be honest, at the moment. But uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. I've been out in the open. You don't know what the wildlife's going to do, and you don't know what the weather's going to do. And I hope you can hear me with all the uh, wind noise on the microphone because uh, it's pretty windy as well today, so apologies for that. Got a couple of cranes just flew over in the distance over there. Um, quite interesting to see. Again, a little bit distant. I uh, got some shots if they're any good. If you can even see them, I'll uh, I'll post them up. So you'll probably see them somewhere now. Um, but uh, seeing them around this, not particularly this area, but more a little bit further to the uh, what is it to the sort of north northwest um, of here. Uh, Elden all before, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's quite nice to see. Like I say, you just never know what you're gonna see. It's only three o'clock, um, but you can't really see from from I don't think off the off the uh, film. But it's getting quite dull, very dark around here, so not holding out much hope really. Um, just having a walk back really now to see um, you know, back to the uh, the visitor centre in the car park. But uh, yeah, I think. Um, I don't think we're going to get anything exciting, really. But uh, as I say, it's been been good to scout the place out, see what it's like, see what's here, um, seen a few things around. Uh, quite distant though. And I haven't found any more marsh harriers yet, um, but certainly worth another another visit sometime. Um, quite a long walk, quite a good good distance around probably, I don't know, two, three miles, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's all right. It's all right, but as I say, the light is really going now. So, you know, for photography, it's certainly not gonna be great, even if, even if we see anything now. Um, but in the background, as you look over there behind me, you know, it's lovely view, some nice clouds in the sky. Um, some, uh, just out here, uh, We've got some wetlands, so uh, that could detract 
quite a few interesting things I guess um, but uh, yeah we'll make our way back to the car see if we see anything else but uh, as I say uh, not looking hopeful for much else today I don't think bit of a flying visit uh, for me um, it's quite a good walk around there so you know with only a couple of hours not really much time to sit and just wait and see what happens which is always the best thing to do um, not a great deal to report um, so there might be a few shots hopefully for me to post in the video uh, you've probably already seen those if they're if they're any good and they're up there um, but yeah Nice place, nice place, but but quite large. So, if you're going to come and you spend a bit of time, have a good walk around, um, uh, or you know, n now that to be honest, now that I know what the place is like, I'd probably just probably head to one particular area. Um, probably the main hide, I guess, is probably one of the one of the focal points. Um, probably head to one of the main areas, just sit and wait there, and just see what turns up. Um, but uh, that's it from me. So bye from uh, Lake and Heath RSPB, and um, I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now. Oh, and thanks for watching, and click the like button if you like the video for me. That's great. Cheers. Bye.